Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Julian's Kitchen. I malapit to malapit ng Pasko, ilang tulog na lang. It's Christmas already. Ready na ba kayo? As early as now, alam ko may mga iba sa atin na nagsisimula na magplano ng Noche Buena spread, which is tama lang naman kasi habang pa lapit ng papalapit ang Pasko, pataas na rin ang pataas ang bilihin na nasa safe time, padami na din ang mga padami ang mga tao sa mga grocery. So it's really better to plan ahead. This recipe na gagawin natin ngayon, it's inspired by the recipe na ginawa ko sa first season ng Judea's Kitchen, which is the Lengua Shepherd's Pie. But this time, gagawin natin siyang meat-free shepherd's pie. Ang gagamitin natin is plant-based giniling. But hello, you can always substitute your shepherd's pie with yung totoong giniling. So you can either use uh, ground beef or you can also put chicken if you like. Kung gusto nyo ng chicken at ayaw nyo ng beef. Kung makumakain kayo ng lamb, you can also use lamb. Pero, eto lang, gusto ko lang gawin siyang plant-based. say that this is vegetarian or vegan kasi gagamit tayo ng Worcestershire sauce. Ingredients na included sa Worcestershire sauce, may isda. Yes. May isda siya. And I can't substitute it for anything else. You can always use coco aminos and just add a bit of acid which is apple cider vinegar. Ito lang kasi, mas nagkakaroon lang ng meaty na lasa. Okay, simulan natin. Ang maganda dito, you can make this ahead and just store it in the refrigerator. Good siya at least 3 days upon preparation. So we'll get 1 fourth of your butter. Always use again unsalted butter. We'll add some olive oil. So this is the time of the year that everyone is so busy. Tapos pag natapos yung 24, parang sasabihin mo na lang, ay tapos na. <laughs> Actually, mahaba talaga ang Pasko sa atin. So, I'll now add diced white onions. This is at least two big onions. When the onion has sweat already, magre-release na siya ng sweetness niya. Yun yung gusto kong flavor na match. Add a bit of salt sa part na ito. So, simula pa lang. Lagay na tayo salt. I always use Himalayan salt. Na research ko kasi that ang Himalayan salt actually contains a lot more minerals and nutrients than the regular salt. Marami talaga tayong kinakain pag Noche Buena. So, gusto mo i-release siya kinabukasan. Just drink a tall glass of warm water with a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. First thing in the morning, even before you have your coffee or you have whatever drink you normally have in the morning, to take out all the toxins. Para kasi may na magnet ni Himalayan salt yung mga kinain ninyo. Sinubukan ko siya. Walang 20 minutes. Tumakbo ko sa banyo eh. Naramdaman ko. Oo nga, hindi pa rin nakakatako uminom ng maalat na tubig. Kasi yung iba iniisip, di ba, sakit sa bato yan, sobrang alat. Siyempre, hindi mo naman papapakin yung salt and you don't have to do it every day. It's just to help your gut cleanse out all those toxins. Okay, so we'll add our garlic. Dito pa lang, maglalagay na tayo ng herb. So I have my rosemary. Yan yung magbabigay ng extra flavor and scent. And syempre, mamaya, bago natin yung i-oven, tatanggalin naman natin yan. You just want na lumasa na siya sa simula pa lang. You can always use the dried ones. Pero syempre, mas woody na yung lasa niya. So, kalma-kalma lang sa paggamit. We also have our thyme. Yung amoy ng thyme, pamilyar to sa akin. Bago pa ako natuto magluto. Kasi parang nung bata ako, pag nagluluto-lutoan ako dun sa garden ng tatay ko dati, may naaamoy akong ganito. Kaya napaka-familiar niya sa akin. Parang feeling ko, matagal ko na siyang kilala. Tapos nagkita kami ulit. So, we'll now add our plant-based meat. O, oh, diba? Mukha talaga siyang karmi. If you wanted to uh, make it vegan, you can use just mushrooms, beans, tofu, or chickpeas. Okay. Just make sure that you're able to properly combine the onion with your meat substitute. 
Kung wala kayong, let's say, Dutch oven, you can transfer your meat mixture sa oven-proof dish na medyo mas malalim. And then, dun yung siya i-assemble. It's just that napaka-convenient lang. Kung saan yun na siya niluto, yun na rin siya i-bake. Bawas hugasin. Tsaka, mas mabilis lang ang kilos. With the pepper. We'll add our tomato paste. Our Worcestershire sauce. Uh, 2 tablespoons. Ay, bakla. Salt. Para mas madali ang buhay ninyo, sa darating na Noche Buena, you can always buy the frozen vegetable packs na meron ng peas, corn, and carrots because parboiled na siya. So, it's the same. Bawas pa sa gawain. But, you know, kung meron naman kayong maraming kasama sa bahay at marami namang time na pwedeng maggayat ng mga gulay, mas okay syempre yung bagong balat. Just make sure that when you add your veggies, hindi na siya mag-overflow pa. You can add your organic all-purpose seasoning. Some cocoa aminos. Of course, kung halimbawa ang totoong karne ang gagamitin niyo like ground beef or lamb, you have to put bay leaf kasi yun yung magtatanggal ng anggo ng mismong karne. And then, some flour, just a bit. Gusto lang natin na maging malapot siya. Mabilis lang to kasi wala tayong papalambutin na karne kasi hindi naman totoong karne yung gamit natin. Nilalasahan na lang natin ito. I have my dried porcini mushrooms here. I will use the stock. Half of the stock. Kasi naglagay tayo ng flour. So basically, parang gumagawa lang tayo ng malapot na texture for our shepherd's pie. Ito, ipapareduce na lang natin ito. Para maluto yung, ano, maluto yung flour. Ay! dagdagan lang natin ng maraming maraming pepper for that bit of spiciness na hindi nagagalik sa cayenne pepper. So again, halimbawa gusto niya pang damihan yung gulay, it's totally fine. Just make sure na you'll always leave like at least an inch or a half an inch mula sa mixture dito. Ayan, so dapat yan yung space para sa mashed potatoes natin. So we'll just let it simmer. I'm so happy. Okay, so habang nagsisimmer siya, may celery ako ko na isasama kasi nakalimutan ko. <laughs> Sige, sama ko. Ngayon mong kausap. Okay, ah, hindi ka naligwa ka. Part ka ng casting. Good morning, love! Wear your apron, baba, and wash your hands. Okay, so, ang ibibigay naman ng celery is the crunch kasi hindi na natin siya iluluto ng bongga. So, patayin ko na to. And just really allow the remaining heat from the casserole na magluto doon sa celery. And then, we move on to our mashed potatoes. Hindi ko tatanggalin yung balat ng potatoes kasi meron niyang vitamins, may nutrients yan. Tanggalin lang natin itong parang ano. Tanggalin nyo lang yung mga malalalim na uka na yun. And then mash it. I always want to include the balat. <laughs> the skin of the potatoes. Kasi it gives it the rustic effect. At saka, nagbe-breakdown naman din siya. Gustong gusto kong gumagawa ng mashed potatoes kasi... Kung araw, pag nagpapadala si mami ng balitbayan box from Canada, alam niya ang paborito namin magkakapatid ang mashed potatoes. So, hindi pa nauuso nun dito yung mga nakakabili ka ng maraming PX goods online. Kasi wala namang online nung araw. Kailangan mo pa pumunta ng Cartimar o ng Green Hills. Eh sa Antipolo kami na katit ha? So, ang pinapadala ni mami sa amin yung instant mashed potatoes na type na type na. 
namin. Hanggang sa nagkaroon na kami ng budget bumili ng patatas pagka Noche Buena, nakakagawa na kami ng sarili namin mashed potato. So, isa ito sa mga mastered recipes ng kuya ko. Sobrang sarap niya gumawa ng mashed potatoes. At dahil Pasko, hindi tayo magtitipid sa butter. Kailangan ko pa ng butter para sa gravy later. And we'll add our mascarpone. Mascarpone is totally optional. Kung wala naman kayong mascarpone, okay lang naman. It's just that pag may mascarpone, it gives that extra creaminess and richness dun sa mashed potatoes. So we'll add salt, pepper, the new white pepper, and we'll add our parmesan cheese. In fairness sa grater na to, galing pa to sa bahay ko sa Susana. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter kung ano yung size na parmesan sa pagsishake. Kasi matutunaw naman yan when you bake it. Okay, tip when you grate any kind of cheese. Down and then up. Down and then up. Nakikita niya mas mahaba yung hibla niya. And mas mabilis ang pag-grate. We will now make sure that everything is properly combined. Oh, my baby girl! Uy, nag-change costume naman pala ang mahal ko. And if you have truffle oil, ooh. Pero, it, the drop nyo na lang yung truffle oil. Sprinkle nyo na lang yung truffle oil kapag natapos na siyang i-open. Not yet, my love. We're gonna make gravy pa. You can mash the potatoes. Use both hands. baho na papadali kasi habang minimix nyo yung mga inat nating ingredients, patuloy lang siya sa pagdurugdol sa patatas. Pag walang masher, you can always use your fork. Yun nga lang. At least, pag mag si Buena, may muscles na kayo. Okay. Hold the plate, my love, if you wanna mix it. Okay. It's buttery, cheesy. Peppery. Actually, it's a good idea to make it peppery. Okay, it's fast. I'm a big fan of it. Okay, no peppery. Now, what we'll do is we will top our mashed potatoes here in our meat mixture. So, you want to just top it like that. You just want to spread it properly. Kailangan covered yung ating meat mixture. Importante kasi makover siya. Ngayon, pag may natira pa, you can always just add it on top. There you go. Very beautiful na agad ko. Thank you, love. So, you see, it's covered. It's already a pie. And then, we'll pop this in the oven for at least around 10 minutes or so up until mag-crust na siya. So, sakto lang yun kasi by then, tapos na rin natin gawin yung gravy natin. We now make our gravy. We'll add our butter. Gagawa tayo ng roux. Okay lang to use yung same chance na ginamit ninyo. Your garlic. Some mushrooms. I love my knife. This knife is made here in the Philippines. You can follow him at Instagram at Togata PH. It's not that expensive, ah, considering na your wood at yung blade niya o walang hati. You just want your fresh mushrooms rough chop for your mushroom gravy. 
You can also add may lang. Yeah. You want to chop it? You can chop it. Just Chop it. Okay, we will add our flour here to make our roux. Add some more garlic. If you want your gravy to... No, this is flour. And what's that called? Garlic. Sorry po. Okay, this... Thank you, sweetie. Bye. Okay, if you want your gravy to be darker in color, you just have to cook your roux ng mas matagal pa hanggang mag-darken yung color niya. Pero napakatagal nun. Yun yung ginagawa kapag nag-gumbo ako. And it takes me at least 2 hours to get that perfectly chocolate brown color for my gumbo. You can add some vegetable stock sa inyong gravy. Ayan. Use a whisk para matanggal yung lumps and properly mix yung gravy. Now, with this, ito yung pwede natin gawing peppered gravy. So, kung ayaw nyo naman ng stock, you can always add water and just adjust the seasoning of your gravy. If you have your own recipe of gravy, it's totally fine. Okay lang kung meron na kayong recipe ng gravy. And try to test it yun na yun. At yun yung gusto ng mga baguettes, yun ang gamitin nyo. So, we'll add our mushrooms to have a bit of texture. Oh, ito na mi! Pwede ko pang tagalan, guys. Five minutes. Para just in time na patapos na itong gravy ko. Then we'll add our cooking cream. Ay, bakla. Mga ganun. <laughs> ha? Kasi galing siya sa ref. Kung pwede natin gawin, yung truffle oil ang inalagay natin sa gravy. Huwag ko siya alat. Positioning. Mm hmm. Okay. Nagbubuo ko na siya. Para mag-thin pa siya. Tsaka para mag-deepen pa yung flavor niya. Ayun! Yung gusto kong texture ng gravy. I don't want it too thick. It's always a nice idea to have. Yun na nga! Yun ang gusto kong kulay. Look at that. Kailangan ko lang mag-concentrate guys. Basakit mapaso nito. Ilang beses na ako napaso nito ang ulo nito. Oh gosh. Look at that! Look at that bubble. Wow! And now, we will just transfer this gravy to sa ating bowl. There! 
Itong recipe na to ng gravy is basically all around. You can always serve it with steak or fried chicken or fish fingers or chicken fingers. Tapos na tayo! Pero, magpa-final, create na lang tayo ng parmesan. Dahil eh, may extra parmesan akong nakatiwang-wang, gagamitin ko na rin siya. Look at that! Ay, ang saya-saya ko. Thank you po. <laughs> And now, this is how you serve it. Scoop lang. So actually, kapag ka lumamig to, magsasolidify pa siya. But since we don't have the liberty of time to wait para lumamig siya, medyo ganyan na itsura niya. And then you drizzle over your cream. Just like that. Babam! You already have some galing yung wabam. At saka with that being said, we go wabam! Daddy, come and get it! Nakatulog <laughs> agad kagabi ha? Parang nakapanood ka ng Netflix na hindi ko napanood. <laughs> Baka sa panaginip yung mga bagay na yun? <laughs> Mainit lang ito. So ang meat, ano, a shepherd's pie doesn't really have a crust. Wala talaga. Sa pan talaga siya ni Luluto. Yung beef pot pie, yun yung may crust. Hindi ka na ipapaso. Kasi pag hindi ka... Napapagin yung kamay mo, pero hindi ko hindi napapaso. Bago hot sauce pepper. Okay ito ah. Plant based. Okay ito ah. Love it. I wanna know if it was meatless. Okay. I think the kids would like it. You have to try this at home. Isa itong recipe that your kids will love and at the same time, it's very easy to make. And of course, napaka, at least for me, satisfying for me. Meron kayong isang dish sa Noche Buena na galing sa Julian's Kitchen. This was good yun na sa akin. Sige, no. Sige, sige. Wow. Wow. able to make this at home and serve it this coming Not Shibena, please, please tag us here at Julian's Kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you learned something new and Christmas is fast approaching. Family ang importante sa ating ngayon. So pray for everyone, pray for our family and always be grateful and always be kind. Thank you guys! Stay safe and always be kind. Bye! Mmm, ay, daddy, mayroon siyang crunch. Pag buo yung patatas, mayroon siyang bite. Gusto ko yung texture niya.